I'm going to share with you six AI productivity tools that will turn you into an AI god. So the first AI productivity tool is Voila. So Voila is this handy little prompt that can come up on any page that you're on. And one of my favorite features is with this page, and then it will give me some different options that I can do. And it's basically going to read the page and then be able to give me the information from it. So I'm going to go down and I'm just going to say summarize this page. And now it's reading any page that I give it. And it's giving me a summary of all the information on it. So if I go to my blog and I type in with this page and then I go down and then say summarize my blog it's going to tell me everything about this blog as well so voila has a bunch of different prompts in its library that you can choose from and I can communicate with this just like chat GPT but it's able to contextualize every page that I am on another cool feature is if I'm on YouTube and I open up voila it will automatically prompt that it can summarize this YouTube video for me or I can use this video as context and I can go through all the different functions within voila basically allowing me to be able to manipulate the transcript directly from voila so i could say something like simplify the language of this video so going back to my blog what i can do over here is copy it open voila and if i say find me similar blogs to this what it's actually able to do is to read the url and then be able to search the web and give me links. This AI productivity tool is Team GPT. So Team GPT allows you to be able to collaborate with multiple people inside of ChatGPT. So let's say you're on a blog and you want multiple people to be able to collaborate on a particular prompt, you can use Team GPT and have multiple people editing directly within there. And the second most powerful feature of Team GPT is that you're able to save your team a lot of money. So typically every single person would have to pay for their own subscription to ChatGPT if they wanted to use all of the features. But with Team GPT, what you can do is you can connect your open AI API. That way you're able to get ChatGPT at a fraction of the cost and give it to whoever you want. So all you need to do is when you go to your platform.openAPI, go over to view API keys, create a new secret key. And then when you copy that secret key, you go to team GPT, you go to workspace settings, and then you can put in your API key. And now when you invite people into team GPT, they're just going to be paying for what they use on your plan. So if you have a bunch of family and friends and you want to give them access to chat GPT without them having to pay the $20 a month, well, there you go. This video has just saved everybody a lot of money. Now, this is probably the most crazy AI tool that's available right now because it can remember literally everything that you do. So this AI tool is called Rewind and Rewind essentially records your screen all the time and it allows you to be able to interact with it as a search. It's a little creepy, but it's also really cool. So there's two different ways that you can use Rewind. One is just by going back and you could click and find something. Let's say I was on a page and I wanted to go back to it. I could just find what that page was and I can remember, oh, that's I was searching for or that's what was on the page during that time. The second really powerful way that you can interact with Rewind is by the search. So if I forgot something that happened maybe some time ago, it could be a week, it could be a month ago, and I just type in here whatever it is that I'm searching for, it'll pull up different snapshot images with times of when that thing came up on screen. So you can see when I type in a word, it'll pull up all the times that I have searched for this specific thing. Going back to YouTube, this is a really cool plugin because it allows you to be able to pull the transcript and open it up in ChatGPT. So it's a little bit different than Voila because this allows you to be able to take the whole transcript and then be able to manipulate it. So first it gives you a summary of what the video is about. So if you didn't want to watch the whole video, you can just read the summary and it'll give you an overview of what the video is. But I like to use it because I'm able to manipulate the transcript. So I could say, give me the video in a list of pros and cons. And then here it's giving me a list. So now I'm able to actually interact with the videos that I'm watching. This is really helpful if you're trying to learn something, if you're trying to study something, or if you're just trying to really dissect the video and get more information from it. This next tool is called Nuda. Now there's two different ways that you might use Nuda. One is for being able to just get a full transcript of any of your virtual meetings. So if you are doing a meeting on Google Meets, Teams, Zoom, wherever, Nuda can just record the audio and give you a full transcription. After the meeting is complete, it can give you an overview of the meeting and what's called a sentiment analysis. It breaks down the different points of the meeting in different colors and it labels it for you. And then it also correlates it with the sentiment analysis. So what was the overall conversation? How are the words being used? So it's able to break down the meeting and say whether the meeting was positive, neutral, or negative. And it shows you the main highlights of the meeting in different colors, as well as the sentiment. The second way that you might utilize Nuda is actually uploading videos to the platform. Platform. So if I uploaded a video like this one, it's going to show me the sentiment analysis. It's going to show me what the different segments of this video was. Of course, it'll give me the transcript. It'll give me a summary. And then it can also point out some different insights from the video, all of the positive sentiments, as well as the negative sentiments. 
This tool is called Spoke and it's an AI note-taking app that will also summarize and just give you the key points of the meeting where Nuda was more of the sentiment analysis. This one is highlighting the key points and giving you a summary in video. So when you log into Spoke, you'll have all of your meetings and then you can just go and open up any of your previous meetings and it'll give you a report of what that meeting was about. So what's really cool about Spoke is that it will take the whole transcript of the meeting and you can interact with it using the Spoke AI. So I can just ask what was the meeting about and then the AI will go through the whole transcript and be able to give me all of the relevant information. And if there's something from the AI that I read here that I like, I can either go to the transcript and it'll pull up that particular section or I can also just play the clip and I'll start playing the video from that point. So Spoke will automatically generate different things that it believes are key points to this conversation, but you can also just ask the AI to go through the transcript and find key points, and then it'll pull up those key points in the video. So if you like productivity tools, then watch this video next.